Mm-hmm. Welcome back, everybody. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner Metazone, Roby and M Scribe. And today we got Rune Stones. We got Runes. We got <laughs> R6. Yeah, dude. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. So I think it's um, <coughs> clock is ticking, by the way. You got it's a nice, Rune o'clock. Got a nice fancy watch here. <laughs> so I feel like I'm finally cybernetic. <laughs> you know, I'm part of the the future. Yeah. But um. I don't have like a Bitcoin happening clock on here yet, or, or you know. Oh yeah, I guess we need to that look for that app. That would be a pretty cool app. It to would have. be. Yeah. But we've been keeping our you know tabs on that clock independently, and uh, yeah. we're basically a month out, right? Yeah. A lot of things are going to happen at that like happening mark, right? Um, yeah. Apparently, there's there's going to be a solar eclipse. What? On uh, April eighth or something like that. Okay, that's here, like, here in the United States. I, well, I, it's it's across the globe, but it's like it, you have to be within the band. <laughs> I don't know how that. That's like a couple of weeks pre happening. But it is. It's a pre happening solar eclipse, dude. Come maybe on. it's like a foreshadowing. It's like you know, r- fucking Bitcoin's about to just uh, uh, turn the world dark. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's actually, like this is like Bible revelations coming into play, dude. Yeah, or. Physics, whatever. Or just complete non-coincidence at all. Yeah. It's just not related. Not, non-correlated. <laughs> right. But the big thing that's actually going to happen is, like, Rune's deployment, right? According to Casey Rodimer, yeah. like, that's... And then, uh, like, if you're paying attention to stacks, also, I think, like, the Nakamoto upgrade is, is like, targeted around that time That's frame. true. Yep. So a lot of things hyper-concentrated around Bitcoin, obviously, yeah. are going to, to, to occur. And it's going to really manifest into like a transformative i think event for like the bitcoin ecosystem space right so yeah so we're like a month ahead of that so now we get to spend some time like contemplating yeah and like theorizing like the potential outcomes of all of this which right. we have been doing right all right so let's take a look at the first tweet here by leonidas the largest ordinal airdrop ever is now complete 210 million dollars of value has been delivered directly to ordinal ogs yeah. In an unprecedented free and fair airdrop room by volunteers with no team allocation or pre-sale, which is very specific to a being non-security. Right. Right. This is by design. So this is good. Right. You don't want to ping the SEC, which we're going to be talking about here <laughs> in a few minutes. At least not yet. A, you don't want to ping them until like the show is like, like really it, in it's full over. force. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So let's see what else he says. In addition to mining the two largest blocks in Bitcoin's history, RuneStone is now... Also, the largest parent-child collection and the largest non-text ordinal collection ever inscribed with a supply of 112. Yeah, remember he puts in this qualification, non-text ordinal, mm-hmm. which bitmap is the largest yeah. because there's 800,000. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys have been following our channel and you know watching us over the last year, you've probably been participating in all this in- entertaining stuff, right? Therefore, yeah. you probably have a wallet or two of your own that you know might maybe harboring some of these ordinal assets and... If you haven't checked yet, I we recommend you do because <laughs> some of those wallets probably have a runestone allocated. That's right. It's just sitting there, dude. Can we get like an, it's pretty cool looking. It's a very high fidelity rock, a black one, right? Yeah. And it's got the runestone emblem on it. I'm sure somebody shows it somewhere down here. There, there it, is. it is in all its glory. Yeah. So that's literally was distributed over like the last couple of days. It took, you know, a process, like a 24 hour process thing it took a, first it took like seventy eighty thousand dollars to inscribe this asset onto bitcoin just by right. itself yeah and then creating the children inscriptions of this asset mm. right that was his own transaction and then another transaction to actually airdrop these to the ogs of ordinals yeah so like the the team here was waiting for like the fee environment to kind of like simmer down to like a, an acceptable level which it did over the weekend and uh, yeah, dude, so check your wallets. Uh, more than likely, you have one of these chilling in there. If not, mm-hmm. I mean, fuck, That's, that really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. this is like turning out to be, I mean, the market has already received it very incredibly well, considering they're all distributed. A very low percentage of them are actually being listed on Magic Eden and such. Mm-hmm. And the market valuation, I think, is in like the hundreds of millions. I think it's surpassed even Bitmap. Yeah. Potential, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So it's probably like the number one ordinals collection as of today, which is pretty, pretty crazy. It yeah. Literally just came out of the sky. A yeah. Few days ago. I mean, just the sheer amount of like, uh, cash required to actually make this happen, mm. and a lot of this was uh, donations, right, to enable mm-hmm. this, right? Because yeah, I mean, it's really hard to spend hundreds of thousands of your own dollars to just distribute an asset, right? It has to be like community. Like right. So if sourced. you re- if you remember like how this whole thing originated, we talked about it. You know, first thing was Arsic, mm-hmm. which That's was right. the Arsic protocol. It was like this this very 
ominous ordinal just kind of appeared on Magic E, and people were like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, if you don't know what Arsic is, it's a rune-specific integrated circuit. It's like a mining machine, you know, traditionally yeah. you mine Bitcoin, but this is just like an asset that sits in your wallet that quote-unquote mines runes. Which all you have to do is like, it's kind of like it tapping yourself. it. Yeah. You just send it to yourself or to another wallet, and now it is like, it's indexable, right? And yeah. therefore, like now they can start to attribute like your token allocation once the actual rune gets deployed, which... Again, the spec hasn't been released. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably like getting out there like in some insider circles and stuff like that, people preparing for it. Right. But nonetheless, it is at some point going to become a reality and people will be able to freely deploy and mint and transfer all the stuff that we're used to doing, right? Correct, yeah. And uh, so yeah, Arsic was first to the game. He's like, yeah, here's his asset. You guys are accruing a token balance. We're gonna honor that in the future. So here it is. Yeah. Leonidas is like, you know, hey, that's kind of sucks. You guys like pre-allocated some to yourself. Yeah. And you only like allowed whales, whale communities to kind of like participate. Let's do this like yeah. much more communal approach. And so far the market seems to like really respect it. Right. And it's the same thing. I think like nobody knows exactly how many, I think rune tokens are going to get allocated. Per yeah. I don't stone. think anybody knows. And I yeah. don't think the specs for runes has been released yet unless not. A, no. Yeah. I don't think it's not has. that I'm aware of in case if anybody knows. Yeah. There might be some like technical, like, um, you know, code out there f to deploy a rune. Like, I mean, there is pipe, which is kind of like yeah. Benny created pipe as like, as an interpretation. Cause it's a UTXO like fungible token protocol. Like, yeah, these exist already. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not the first like UTXO. Yeah, I'm just mechanism. wondering, like, what could you do with a rune that you can't already do with existing tokens and yeah. assets that, you know, have been already generated? Correct. So, yeah, I mean, people have probably, like, already tried to, like, theoretically reverse engineer the actual spec. I, I don't think Casey has said it himself. It's, like, actually very simple. Yeah, I'm sure it's it is. It's not very complicated at yeah. all. So, yeah, what's, what's cool about it is that um, from his podcast, I know that a rune can still communicate with the Ord wallet. So you can mm -hmm. play with that yeah. somehow. Yeah, you would for sure. He's like, gonna like, want these things to play with like his ordinal base for sure. Like in theory, you could do like a non-arbitrary token that points to an element which is an ordinal, mm. and then you supply like that amount of runes. Mm, yummy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds interesting, dude. Yeah. The fact, yeah. Hopefully, so once we get closer to the actual rune activation, we'll know the technical logistics of what can and cannot be done. Because yeah, of course, uh, off the rip, once this thing goes live. It's just going to be shit coin, meme coin, mania, yeah. like bonanza. Yeah. But who knows how long that will last. At some point, the market's going to be like, you know, give me some substance, guys. Like something to really sink my teeth into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the same thing we saw with BRC20s, right? The first tokens were all memes. And then it's like, oh, shit. Track is actually important. I, I like projects that are actually with an intention to build real infrastructure. That's right. You know, so that I'm pretty sure we'll see similar happenings in runes, right? Yeah. All right, moving on. So we mentioned Arsic. So these, this is what an Arsic looks like. Some of you have gotten this airdrop. Others have purchased this. Yeah. And this is just another mining um, for vehicle. vehicle for runes. And we called it like around this time. We're like, dude, I bet you at some point, like a bunch of these are going to start popping up. Yeah. And also, I mean, take a look at the supply. There's 21,000, right? Mm -hmm. And that is because they had to, I guess, use their own money to airdrop this to everybody. So they couldn't airdrop 100,000. They could do mm. 21,000. Yeah. Right. And so this is a a, a monetary commitment in, in, a, in and of, of itself. So kind of expensive to do this. Yeah. All right. And a new one kind of just like emerged. Uh, also over the weekend, like people were noticing, like, what the fuck are these things? I, I noticed it. Like I got yeah. my little rune rock. Yeah. <laughs> and then this little thing was next to it. It was like, did, did uh, Leonidas send me this as well? Like, where the fuck did these come from? I don't know. Yeah. We haven't done enough, like, due diligence yet into this one specifically, but we probably will. So this one, I mean, the ones that we have in our wallet are, oh, these are also animated. Yeah. But mine have a little stuff hovering Yeah, mine did too. It. I feel like they might have changed it, like re-inscribed it or something potentially. Like, and maybe this is dynamic. Maybe, like... Oh, maybe so. It had little letterings, like... Yeah. Try refreshing it, dude. Maybe there's, like, a <laughs> fucking bug. Okay, maybe mm. something actually happened to it. Maybe it changed. I don't know. Nobody really knows, like, what the hell is happening here, but these are different. All these, like, pre rune distribution assets have, like, their own logic. Yeah. As far as, like, what's going to determine allocation and bonuses and all this stuff. Right? Yeah. So, it's interesting... Uh, you know, we're, we're going to look into this a little bit more so we can kind of like package it into like a much more all encompassing, like how do you really interpret like what could be valuable here? Yeah, correct. 
Yeah, so this is kind of like an interesting thing. I mean, this is just a way for people to sort of play in the runes mania just before it actually happens. Correct. So you're, we're going to see probably a ton more in the next 30 days by the time the happening comes. And then we'll see what actually, like, sticks around. The invisible hand, right? The invisible hand. Let's see what sticks around because I'm pretty sure you can actually use runes for something. I don't know what, how you know, how different you can, you know, do something with runes and instead of BRC20 or TAP or whatever mm. it is. But yeah. I guess we will find out. Pretty much. That's the big right. experiment here, right? So, yeah, we're just tacking this on. So, also, recent events, Casey Ronerer, <laughs> founder of Ordinals Protocol, mm -hmm. creator of Runes Protocol. Yeah. He's up to something here, like inscribing children inscriptions and grandchildren inscriptions to his, literally the first Ordinal inscription ever made. So, mm -hmm. it's like, what is he up to? Is he just, like, trying to extract liquidity from his own art cell? Probably not. <laughs> Yeah. It's probably something more a lot, you know, we're speculating here. This probably has some sort of like play or tie into runes, P possibly. Maybe. Maybe not, right? Maybe he's just got bored. He's like, you know what? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's make create some children. <laughs> yeah, let's make some babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, so it says, interesting, the child and the grandchildren were all inscribed on sats with special names. It is unclear if there's a code or meaning behind them yet. These nine skulls are collectively known as the Dia de Pix Pixalis? Pixalis? Pixalis. Collection, which is original art by Casey that had appeared on his personal website before Ornals was even released. So what his exact plans are for these inscriptions still unclear. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, that's interesting. So more like speculative, like juice. Uh, there, there might be a play here for runes here. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think yeah. many people are like deriving that, that tie together. It just seems timing is too peculiar. People are saying like the reason why it took him this long to like expand his own collection is just he was waiting for you know jubilee and like all the right yeah uh, technical yeah things. I mean he mentioned it himself like runes will play with ordinals and so he's creating ordinals here and he's about to launch runes so I mean the the, the timing isn't co coincidental. Right. There's a reason why this is happening. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, moving on. Finally, Casey comes in with a tweet. It says, DGENs are going to DDoS the SEC with unregistered security runes. Sad face. Not just sad, dude. Like, literally. Like, it's the over face. It's like you could be any sadder. Yeah. <laughs> why would he do this, dude? And this is, like, an hour ago as we were, like, preparing to record. Yeah. We were having our own conversation. Like, we're sitting there thinking, like, what's actually going to happen? Yeah. You ask the question, it's like... Okay, cool. Another token protocol on Bitcoin. Yeah. Clearly, the market indicators are there. All the right influencers are pushing, right? The cabal is like in full force. This yeah. is going to be huge. Yeah. Massive. We're even seeing big influencers from outside the ordinal Bitcoin space talking about runes and preparing for like some sort of presence within that. Yeah. This is like, so what, right? That's the question you ask. Like, yeah. what, is, what is actually going to like change? Yeah, what is the difference between a rune token and any other fungible token on Bitcoin? What is it going to enable that we don't already have was the mm. question. Yeah. And so that's a tough one to answer because first we, we can't see the specs. And so we can't really like project out as to what you can do with runes that you can't already do with any other fungible token. Yeah. And so, you know, you're, you're saying like the cabal is pushing this, but like what is their angle here where they they, you know, actually generate some sort of liquidity for themselves by pushing this. Mm. Like, that's what I don't understand either. Yeah, I don't know if it, it's, this is kind of probably manifest into phases and such. Like, you know, in the beginning, I don't think anybody's going to look for anything outside of the the bounds of just um, hype-worthy deployments just off the names alone. Remember, because there's like an interesting like name dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to these like i don't know there's like different incremental periods where like uh, the name extendability yeah. or gets reduced or whatever compressed yeah yeah into it's much more like meme worthy forms and stuff so there's like the, the, there's different verticals of like where the market can kind of like find value right so it's yeah. gonna be a little bit of that but you're the question you're asking is like are we gonna see like actual utility yeah. <laughs> emerge to where things like DeFi can be built on runes yeah, you know. I mean, the, the first phase of this is just going to be a bunch of meme tokens, which is totally fine, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's f you know, good for the casino aspect of this. Yeah. But, like, what comes after that? Well, my, my prediction is I, I think there is some good to the whole let's let's allow this to kind of manifest as, like, a casino in the beginning because yeah. what that's going to do is attract a ton of liquidity. Sure. I yeah. mean, I'm talking potentially 
like in the ballparks of like pinging mainstream attention type liquidity. Like okay. we're going to see some of the biggest meme coins ever activated on runes. There's, uh, in no, Bitcoin's bigger, history. there's no bigger mainstream attention than the SEC. <laughs> so continue. Well, are they, what, what, do, what do we know from our experience in history in this space? What does liquidity attract other than DGENs, right? What? What does liquidity attract other than like what, what forces, what entities, what beings of the universe like are attracted to liquidity, like flies on shit, you know? Of the SEC? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm thinking developers, right? Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> the SEC comes later. They're like the biggest like fly, yeah. like humming in, right? Yeah. <laughs> like towards the, the fucking giant turd. Yeah. It's like, let me like much on some of that dude let me slap all your wrists yeah. and get my cut dude that's what the SEC really does yeah but yeah it, so okay we, we we bring in developers because of runes but the question still lies like what can you do with runes that you can't yeah. already do and you're saying because of kapal is pushing it because there's all all this like attention being pushed to runes it's like all of a sudden it's going to wake up some developers are going to say hey cool ordinals yeah. and runes i can do stuff with this yeah why do i say that because we've already seen it so far, like in the fungible token space, I mean, we, there's been some noise generated through BRC twenties, right? Some noise. Yeah. We're talking like a few billion dollars. Yeah, the developers have, they peaked their interest. They're like, well, you can only deploy mint and transfer. Right. You can't really have put logic into this. And so here comes Benny, right? Here comes Benny. Yeah. Benny's like, you know what? I could fix this. Yes. <laughs> you know, and then yes. here comes the CBRC 20 team. Yeah. You know, here comes Unisat and then and, and Domo and Layer One Foundation and all these guys. Like, you know, we could we could we could actually do stuff. We could here. do stuff now. Yeah. Or at least there's there's it, there's hope. Yeah. Right in the air. So like, let us let us devs figure this out and you DJs. Okay. So so now runes are deployed, right? They're yeah. distributed to all these like R six right esque type deals. Then all of a sudden, developers are peaking their interest. It's like, well, you can't really do much, but. I'm going to use runes and I'm going to add my own flavor to it so that you can actually do stuff to it. Theoretically. Yeah. That's right? the theory. That is the theory because I mean, you know, now you have like an active ecosystem and all this shit, like things that we've seen like on Ethereum, right? Same yeah. thing, you know, Ethereum ICO madness occurred. So I think that's kind of like where Casey is. He's, he's envisioning that same like pathway. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's what's leading up to this tweet. Like he's like, fuck. Like yeah. he, he already sees it. It's clear as day. There's going to be people who come in like developers, projects, whatever founders, you know, I see guys like this rune stuff. Um, here's this pitch to, you know, uh, $20 million, what we need to build, you know, yeah. the fucking greatest decks on yeah. earth. You give runes. me $20 million, I'll give you a rune token. And then yeah. we're going to use that to build something. Yeah. They're probably going to piggyback on like, you know, Oh, you guys already have rune stones, right? There's like 120,000 of these fucking things out there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to allocate directly to all of you. So it's like there's already like a built-in community incentive to like support these a types built-in of projects. like distribution method. Distribution and like so, it's so, just like you you're kickstarting your 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 marketing reach and your Yeah. So so that. here's a new rune token. We're the team is going to keep 10%. We're yeah. going to airdrop 20% to all these like runestone holders or whatever Rsic out there. Yeah. Or Rsic whatever it is yeah. or our own Rsic, buy our own Rsic and or then that. we'll distribute, right? Correct. And then uh, the other re remaining percentage is for my Dex machine or for whatever it is that I'm, I'm whatever ecosystem that we're pitching, right? Yeah. Why, why again? This 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 has already happened. Yeah, yeah. In crypto. Yeah. How do we know all this? Is because we've seen it already. Yeah, it seems so clear and obvious to us. But so if, if so you're now new, so yeah. now we've seen this play on like different sectors in crypto, right? The SEC has come down with like Thor's hammer <laughs> many times. Uh, they've tried, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they've uh, uh, successfully, yeah. they've tried, right? Yeah. They've slapped some hands and some fines have been dealt, right? So here's Casey predicting the same exact thing happening to Rose. Yeah, yeah and like in context of this tweet and like everything we've we've seen proliferate and in context of what we've already seen in ordinals and what we understand with Bitcoin and yeah. like the opportunity and the liquidity base that represents is like, fuck. I think we're going to see like... A market mania like we've never seen before potentially and i think runes is going to get all that kind of like that that energy reactivated into this space and of course it, it's going to spill into like the whole bitcoin ecosystem i don't think everything's just going to be central yeah. Yeah, centered, centered around runes, but a large portion of it will yeah right and that's going to ping the the attention first of like mainstream attention that's going to bring in a lot of new liquidity then of course yeah, yeah the sec is going to pay attention to all of that right yeah and the crazy thing is this is all happening on like a regulated yeah, asset. yeah. This, like, this is, is happening on Bitcoin. This is on the the base layer asset that yeah. ETFs have been right. deployed on, and you have a bunch of four hundred one k accounts holding a bunch of these ETF shares. 
and they're going to have all these like ETF managers are going to have to like distribute um, notices to their, yeah their holders. Like, by the way, it's like <laughs> the SEC is looking at this very closely now because there's tons of unregistered securities occurring on Bitcoin like never before. Damn, the sell button is going <laughs> ham right now, dude. Right. The, the, yeah, that could be like the catalyst for like the end of this whole market and like the yeah. SEC actually wins its case finally. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. If this gets out of control, which this, I think it could. I think this might be the catalyst where the SEC like really wins, wins. and convinces like all of government. It's like, see how many people's retirement accounts got blown out by this That's shit? That's right. That's right. It's like we fucking oh told God. you so. This dude. is going to happen, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Holy shit. We're speculating here, but that might. So if this occurs, there's Casey, it's okay. What you're doing is fine. You know, I well, think. I mean, yeah, it is fine. This is part of like it's, what crypto represents, right? Experimenting. And yeah, of course it's fine. Pushing the limits, right? And let's see it's where just, we can go. Well, this is uncharted territory mm -hmm. in like the realest sense. Correct. Like this, this could bring down like ETFs. Maybe. Potentially. Yeah, because the SEC is talking about Bitcoin in the in the conversation of like security violations which right. doesn't generally happen because security no yeah bitcoin, bitcoin is, is a real commodity well it was largely like um abstracted away from that conversation because yeah it had like uh, not enough supporting evidence to like really deem it as a threat unlike all the craziness that happened on ethereum right yeah so yeah it's all coming to bitcoin uh, brought to you by runes and friends <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be interesting dude <laughs> yeah are you excited? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, that means if you're watching this video, you're paying attention. Yeah. And you got to pay attention to what happens here because this is going to be the signal of all signals, right? Mm -hmm. uh, new developers, mm -hmm. new deployment methods, new sales tactics, yeah. marketing tactics. Yeah. I mean, it's all going to be happening here. Correct. Yeah, and it's happening on the, the platform that has the most uh, eyeball gravity gravitational pull it's bitcoin right yeah everyone's going to be paying attention at some point like everybody everyone you know is going to want to like want in on this right yeah so that's our prediction uh it's yeah. just now getting started we're like you said we're one month out from this all beginning actually and yeah let's oh, we're curious what you guys think yeah so, yeah let us know in the comment section below what you think what's going to happen at the end of the day with runes is it mm -hmm. going to go ham is it up forever from here and we're uh in valhalla what they say <laughs> yeah or something else yeah. all right guys thank you guys for watching and we will catch you in the next video peace